This is the script we'll be installing on our server, sourced from OSP development. I'll include the link to their store in the description below. This script is compatible with both QB and ESX frameworks, and you can purchase the ESX version from the link provided. For this tutorial, I'll be installing the script on my QB framework. First, scroll down a bit and click here to preview the showcase of the script. Once you purchase the script, you'll find it in the Granted Access section of your Keymaster. Simply click on Download to get the resource. After downloading, extract the file. Open the extracted folder before proceeding. Ensure you delete any old QB Ambulance job scripts from this folder. Then open Redmi file and copy the item and pass to your inventory in qb-qbcore backslash shared backslash items.lua and for aux inventory backslash data backslash items.lua. A big shout out to our partners OSP development for making this video possible. Now let's open the config.lua file. Here you'll configure the framework you're using. Since I'm using the QB framework, I'll leave it as default. Depending on your build version, adjust the settings accordingly. I'll set the AOX notifier to false since I'm not using it. And for the inventory, I'll change it to QB. Next, you'll find sections for your Discord webhook configuration. If you want, you can set those up. For the target system, if you're using a target system, keep it set to true. Since I'm using QB target, I'll change it to false. In this section, provide the name of your target system. For the display section, configure the dispatch system you're using. I'll stick with the default one. You can adjust the rest according to your needs. The key bind for the damage menu is set to O, and for the skeletal overview, it's K. Feel free to change these as per your preference. Now let's configure the ambulance job settings. I'll keep the defaults for now. I recommend keeping the job limit set to true. You can also configure the minimum requirements for doctors to prevent hospital checks. I'll leave that as default for now. You can set the healing time after a check and whether the inventory should be wiped when a player responds to the hospital. I'll set that to false for now. You can also configure which items should not be removed when a player responds. From here, you can set the helicopter model you're using and configure the billing cost for check-ins. I'll keep those as default. You can also adjust the last standing time and response time. If you want to enable the player crawl system, set it to true. This section allows you to configure the entire injury system of your script, including the side effects when injured. You can also configure the skin effects for different types of injuries. If you want to restrict certain medications, set that to true so only EMS can perform specific actions like CPR or using the revive kit. You can configure authorized vehicles based on the grade, and if you want to add more types of ambulances, you can do that here by specifying the model and name. These are the items available in the EMS Armory, which you can configure as needed. I'll leave those as default for now. You can also configure the locations for your hospital, including the hospital bed, x-ray bed, and jail bed. The script includes a working ECG system, which you can configure here, along with the locations of other monitors. You can also define weapon classes and add custom weapons if needed. That wraps up the installation part. Now navigate to the inventory images folder, copy all the images and paste them into your QB inventory. To do this, go to QB slash QB inventory slash HTML slash images and paste the images here, replacing the existing ones. Lastly, open the server.cgf and ensure it. We're in the game now. Let's head inside the hospital. You'll notice a terminal screen here, which you can configure the location for in the script. Now let's go to the staff only room. In this area, you can set up your personal stash. As you can see, there's a medical store here. Use your target key to open the store. I'll purchase a pager and an ECG machine. After buying these items, you can use the terminal screen to change the details. Just use your pager, enter the patient's name, gender, age, and select their current condition. From Click confirm and you'll hear a sound indicating the terminal screen has updated with the patient's details. This alerts all other EMS doctors to prepare for the incoming patient. To access the damage menu, press O. You'll see the patient's condition. Since there's no one around, I can't see any details right now. You can check specific injuries by clicking on the relevant body part. To use the defibrillator, open the options, input the details, and confirm to administer shock treatment if the patient is down. Once you're done, 
you can see the ECG. Now let's use the stretcher that comes with the script. To place it, press E, then use your target key to put a patient on the stretcher. Since there's no one available, I can't demonstrate that right now. Let's head to the rooftop and call the chopper. I'll take out the stretcher and place it near the helicopter. Use your target key to put the stretcher in the ambulance. Now we can fly the chopper with the stretcher on board. After landing, exit the chopper, use your target key on the stretcher, and click to pull it out. Now let's check out the injury system. When I get injured, you'll see the injury displayed on the mannequin in the top left corner, indicating where I was hurt. I'll demonstrate by killing my character. You'll notice that I don't bleed out immediately. There's a cinematic animation that plays. If you prefer to disable this feature, you can do so in the config file. There are many more features available in this script, making it a fantastic addition to your server. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, make sure to subscribe to AG Framework and hit the like button. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload new content. A big shout out again to our partners OSP Development for making this video possible. That's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you enjoyed the content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more 5M development videos. Until next time, goodbye.